Así que eso, a ver, eh, el teaser, trailer, gameplay de The Finals, el juego este de, de Embark, eh, X, que está formado sobre todo por X de DICE, ya digo. Uh, shooter en primera persona, tiene bastante buena pinta, han sacado un pequeño trailer, vamos a ver el vídeo de Jack Frax, uh, que supongo que tendrá más información, no sé si pone gameplay e impresiones, no sé si lo ha jugado, la verdad, o se basará solo en el teaser. Um, no tengo ni idea, pero bueno, vamos a verlo. Voy a poner los... Vale, sí, ¿ves? Uh, lo han invitado. Vale. I was recently invited to a behind the scenes look at a new game called The Finals, and it's possibly one of the most ambitious first person shooter games that I've seen in a long time. And based on the gameplay that I saw, it's definitely got some of the best destruction... No lo ha jugado, solo lo ha visto. Eso es importante. ...ever in a PvP game. It's Mira, dice que tiene, by tiene una destrucción de la hostia, cosa que se nota. Studio forming in November 2018. And one of the co-founders is none other than Patrick Soderlund, who was the executive vice president at EA and also the CEO of DICE at one point. And in relation to that, there's a lot of ex-DICE developers working at Embark and you can definitely feel and see those Battlefield Battlefront vibes in the gameplay trailer. Me da como más impresión de Battlefront the que de Battlefield. Not much is known about that, but we have seen some footage already. Now, these two games couldn't be more different, though. The Finals is a team-based first-person shooter, which on the surface may not sound that groundbreaking, but it's no, the level of interaction with the environment and the destruction that looks to set this game apart. It's described as a first-person shooter that pushes environmental mm. dynamism, destruction and player freedom to the limits. It also happens to be free to play. At its basic level, you play as a contestant in an over-the-top ultimate entertainment game show. Vale. And the developers make no bones about the fact that this is not a hyper-realistic game. Its purpose is to be over-the-top and, most importantly, fun. And you play in squads of three against three other teams. Hostia, so contra... that's 12 players ah, in total. 12, the vale. In early Hay cuatro equipos. So pues yo pensaba que eran dos, 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 dos contra dos, digamos. Dos equipos contra... O sea, un equipo contra otro. Dynamically spawn into the level. When you find them, you take them to an extraction point and hold that point for a short period of time to bank that cash. There is a leaderboard in the game that shows which team have deposited the most money. And once one box is extracted, another vale. will spawn somewhere to replace it. So vale. the game is all about fighting for these resources across the map. The maps themselves are based on iconic real world locations, according to the developers. The trailer that you're watching in the background here is loosely based on Monaco's Old Town. Monaco, vale. really Des, me, me da la impresión de que era de por ahí. How many arenas or maps there would be at launch. They did say that they're currently playtesting multiple. Also, it's important to note that these maps are quite close quarters. Think city center. Tiene pinta de que son muy cerrados. Downtown area rather than a battle royale sized map. Mm. Now, you may have noticed the biggest feature of the entire game is destruction. And the developers have said that the entire level can be destroyed. From Hostia, small todo, items such as todo se puede destruir. All the way up to large buildings. And as you can see in this gameplay footage here in the recent trailer they released, it looks very impressive at times. I'm not sure we've seen this kind of stuff for a while. It actually reminded me a lot of the destruction that we saw in some of the earlier Frostbite engine titles like bueno. Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. This is a Battlefield... small amount sí, of debris, though. We're talking full destruction across the whole level. And more importantly, Embark told us that they've managed to move destruction and movement to the server side rather than the client side, which is how most multiplayer games operate. And mm, esto es interesante. O sea, la destrucción lo mueve el servidor y no el cliente. Para que no vaya mal el juego de, de rendimiento de frames y toda la pesca. Eso está bastante bien. And this means that for their game, that realistic collapsing of entire buildings is possible. And while I'm not a game developer, this is something that is apparently incredibly difficult to achieve. In fact, the developers working on this system have wanted to do something similar for years, but have been unable to until now. And they even mentioned the Holy Grail when talking to us about it, so you can appreciate how difficult a task this must have been to achieve. Las armas the molan, parecen really good here. Armas reales, vaya. Exactly Igual tienen algún toque... 
Así como futurista. Esta arma, por ejemplo. Es actually shown off quite well in the trailer. When the side of a building is destroyed, it almost becomes its own platform, falling to the floor with a player on top of it. And you can imagine some of the gameplay opportunities that might revolve around this. Now, alongside the destruction, you can also interact with physical objects around you, pick them up, throw them, and while not everything can be interacted with their current build, that's what they're aiming for ultimately. You can even set things on fire, and we do get to see a little bit of that in the trailer. There are also other factors at play here apart from the destruction including a dynamic weather system and a dynamic vale. time of day. The devs didn't go into Eso está, está guay. El, el weather, ¿cómo se llama, tío? El clima, el clima dinámico. Está bien, aunque en un en un mapa así tan pequeño y tal, no sé en qué puede influir, pero bueno, está bien. Está bien, está bien. Sí que no siempre se te ponga a llover en el mismo punto de la partida o Igual, yo que sé, en tres partidas seguidas te llueve y en la siguiente no, ¿sabes? Eso está, es, está bien. No too much detail on how these systems will impact the gameplay, but they did say that they want players to have to adapt to different circumstances. At its core, though, the finals, it still looks like it's a shooter with a time to kill slightly on the longer side. There were also all sorts of guns on display in the gameplay, from an M60 machine gun to a Mac 10, a Magnum a flamethrower, what looked like an M1 Garand, an AK, and of course the friend of destruction, the grenade launcher. It's very reminiscent of how Battlefield used to play out when you would find a player hiding in a building, just go ahead, take the building out. We also saw a goo gun, and Esto we did de, see some gameplay prey, in the trailer. It emits a big area of goo or foam that can be used to either reinforce buildings or to block areas off entirely and also use it to build bridges and create new pathways to higher or lower ground. The devs told us too that they want complete freedom to set up your player character however you want. This means both visual and gameplay customization, and they showed us quite a few examples of how... Esto es interesante, que el personaje se podrá customizar tanto a nivel de... de cómo se ve de... Y, de... y de cómo se juega, o sea que tendrán habilidades, quizá. ...how these player characters can differ from an ancient warrior to a... Ballerina, yes, I said ballerina. A mime, as well as a more standard looking character. And some really bizarre ones. There's a lot of variation here. You could also build out your abilities and load out. And vale, ves, because of the degree habilidades. of customization, you can essentially create vale. a more glass Está cannon bien. ninja. So a character that can move around really nimbly, but has a lot less health. Or say, a tank with a rocket launcher that can be the one who destroys buildings for your team. We were told that these characters are ones that you build yourself rather than them being provided. And customization then allows the player to play how they, Mejor... how they look. And this seemed to be a big point. In fact, they Mejor want to be as hacer tu personaje así como quieres. possible. So if you think in your head that something should work, it probably will if you test it. And at the very least, they want to make a game that says yes more than it says no. Wrapping things up, the finals is still in very early development, but what I did like was that the devs were open to feedback and change if it's needed. Nothing is currently locked in, and with a closed alpha coming up, they want all the feedback they Están can get. Al feedback. Eso siempre está bien. Warned, they have made it very clear that there are many experimental features in this game, and they're pushing the boundaries of that technology, and with that comes bugs. There's going to be a lot to iron out, habrá un so cristo de bugs, mind, obviamente. you get to try the alpha. There's a big ambition vale. with the finals, no doubt. And while it could be easy at first glance to think that this is a generic arena FPS or a game similar to many others... That have... A mí los, los FPS de arena me molan, tío. En plan Quake y cosas así. A mí, a mí siempre me han gustado. Lo que pasa es que no hay muchos que me, que me atraigan. Pero este puede estar bien, no sé. Es verdad... Bueno, a ver... Bueno, ahora, ahora hablaremos del It's definitely pushing de some envelopes and it's a high tempo game with character abilities and full destruction and I'm absolutely on board with that. I hope they can pull it off in the long run. It's just so cool to see this level of destruction again. So that's all. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. How do you feel about this one? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Vale. Subscribe. If... Te doy te doy mi like, uh, Jack Frax, no te preocupes. Um, a ver, en cuanto a lo que decía de probarlo y tal, hay, eh, pa, 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 pa. si te vas a Steam y buscas The Finals, aquí, lo tengo en la lista de deseados, pero justo aquí, voy a poner esto en pantalla completa que se vea mejor, justo aquí puedes solicitar acceso para probarlo. No sé si lo van a dar 100%. Buenas noches, ¿qué tal?
Yanto. ¿Cómo va? Eh, no sé si lo van a dar 100%, pero... Yo le di. Y no sé, tiene de buena pinta el juego. Sí, el, la alfa cerrada creo que es el 27. Así que no sé, ya veremos. Yo estaré pendiente, porque me... Me cunde este tipo de juego, la verdad. Me apetece. Estaré atento, ya te digo. Siempre que salga algo, lo... Lo miraré. Super.